I'm Alexis Petridis and my choice of the week is Cut For Me by Kalayla. I've been reading Bob Stanley's doorstop size history of modern pop, yeah yeah yeah. It's a book that begins with the first chart and ends with the explosion of super modern sounding R&B in the late 90s and early noughties. That, Stanley claims, is the last moment to date when pop music sounded new and thrilling and challenging. Something of that era's restlessly creative spirit seems to be cropping up in R&B again, which brings us to Kalayla's Cut For Me. Not an album, but a mixtape. In this case, at least, I'm not sure what the difference is, other than the fact that you can download it for free. Frankly, hats off to whoever thought of hooking up an American soul vocalist with producers from the UK's acclaimed post-dubstep label Night Slugs, Bop Bop, Jam City and Girl Unit among them. The contrast between Kalela's vocals and the musical backdrops they come up with, which are stark, futuristic and dark, is really gripping. The lyrics of Do It Again are standard R&B slow jam stuff, but the music behind them is so creepy they start to take on a weird, slightly troubling hue. She sounds like a stalker who somehow succeeded in getting a target's trousers off. The dreamy atmosphere of the ballad Alive, meanwhile, is undercut by a weird, ominous scraping noise that keeps shifting across the speakers. While you're listening to it, it's hard not to be struck by the sensation that Cut For Me is an album, or a mixtape, or whatever it is, that seems entirely of the moment. It sounds like music that couldn't really have been made 5 or 10 or 20 or 30 years ago. That's a rarer sensation than it should be in rock and pop music these days, but it's a pretty thrilling one.